Welcome back. We're going to be looking for Dio somewhere in Gold Saucer. Let's check him with Red, see if he has any idea. Hey, sorry, but I haven't caught a whiff of Dio yet. Damn. Good race? Yeah, it'd be awesome if I could enter. As a jockey or a chocobo? Mm, either or. E either or? Here you go. That doesn't feel right. What the? Hmm, there's something going on. Not sure what though. Who he's facing off. Oh, thank you very much, Koopo. Let's check the speed square. Indeed, Koopo. I'm assuming it is just check in with everyone. Question is, ah, it's Sid. Just so you know, Dio ain't here. Right, Sid's information is very helpful. Yeah, let's get going. Battle Square, I'm going to leave till last. Event Square. Because there seems to be some kind of fight going on, which would be at the Battle Square, right? So I'll wait on that. Alright, Barrett. Bad news. No sign of Dio whatsoever. While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh. If she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way, she'd have kept us entertained. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? It was her way, it was her way. Still feel like these are references to something. Like some of them. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, anyway, um... Where's, where, where's, where's... There you are. I was like, hold on, aren't, aren't the, um... Moogles gonna take me places? Like, yes, but not that one. That's a good question. Wonderman Square, Koopo! Let's, Koopo! And here we are. And here we are. No one around here. Where are you then? Where? Ah, it's Yuffie. He's busy playing. Can you hang on a sec? Kind of busy here. All right, you're the boss. <laughs> Cloud, don't even think of lecturing me. I already did my recon, and it turned up squat, okay? Anyway, you want to throw down? Oh, go on then. This is going to be painful, I imagine. Can't remember how to guard. <laughs> like, that's left down, okay. It's right up. I'm figuring it out, Goofy, as I go. Where can I get the hit in? Damn, Yuffie. Ow! Ow, my face, Yuffie! Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, retry. Damn it. Do I get anything for winning, though? That's the thing. Oh, that was left up, not left down. This, this game is just too weird for me. I'm just gonna let her win. Incoming! Damn. I think that's one mini game I just don't enjoy, really. Sloppy. Just don't. Mm. Oh, 
Right, so... Where do we want to head next? I was wondering why he wasn't running so fast. See, there's a big match tomorrow. That's where Dio's going to be, isn't it? It's, it's going to be the battle square tomorrow. Which means we probably have enough time to go around Gold Saucer again, won't we? And here we are! Here we are. Vincent? Guts of blood. Screams of pain. Yes. All that Dio's not here. Good to know. Sardines. Your trusty guide mobile is at your service. Alright, Skywheel Square. And away we go. Off we go, Koopo! Koopo-po. Have ourselves a magical day. It's Tifa. Hey, lovebirds. Oh, hey, Cloud. Doesn't look like Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? They do. But people always think war is someone else's problem. Until they're in the thick of it. Cloud, I gotta be honest. Hmm? For the longest time, I wanted to do... everything. I wanted to fight for the planet. Convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like... I always come up short. Always. No matter what I try. I'm... in over my head. And maybe you are, lost. But knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. You're not. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebel anymore. We're not powerless, and we're not alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Thanks. I needed that. Alright. Now let's go find Dio. Cool. Always come up short. Oh, that was so nice from Cloud there. Where could Dio be? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. If only there were some people going around telling us there's an event involving Dio tomorrow. Like to if only. Kubo? If only. Right, Battle Square. Let's make tracks, Kubo. Let's. Koopa. Day. It's Aerith, Koopo. Check it out, Cloud. Our sanctum, the Can you believe Museum this? Corneo? The Dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. All right, then. Aerith's inkling. Oh dear. Have we actually been down here yet? I mean, I can see him. I mean, we've probably been down here as the actual um, competition. Oh, alright. I, all I did was stand still. Jeez. Aha! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Is it a statue? Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. You okay? What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> Bit of a stretch, though. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You 
must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Naming rights? Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Oh no. Flex it out. Training hard and getting those gains. What's up, party people? What's up? Mm -hmm. hey. It's a challenge from the dark. Signed Come and on. Right. Give the people what they want. Take it. In a team. Oh no. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was lamenting my lot in life when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. Choice of Steinsgate. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. All right. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. You'll jog on. Rest at the Haunted Hotel. Uh, fast travel is now available. Okay. The fate of the gold saucer rests on your shoulders. Don't let me down. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, 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 I will not let you down. That's what I meant to say. Yes. But yeah, I could go off and do... Um, what was it? The Monster of Chaos now. But we, we've started this now, so... No. I want to go prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the time will come. All right, go square it is. What about my hat, Cooper? I lost it previously. I wasn't holding on to it. We've arrived at your destination. Oh, lovely. Gas of blood, screams of pain. Oh, yes, to be expected, yes. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event at the Colosseum tomorrow. Yes. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationship with his allies will determine how this portion of the story will unfold. You wish to improve a bond with a teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. You'd better rest up before your big day. Yes. Until tomorrow. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> hmm. What about? What are you doing? Come on, think. You right there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <What? laughs> They say curiosity killed the cat. Oh dear. Oh no. Arif, don't do it. Ah, a lovely little nap. All right then. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. What? What? 
What? How did you see the other world or other time or whatever it was? Yeah, how did you see this place? Like through other clouds' eyes, basically. How? Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. I've still got these thoughts in my head that this could potentially be the future of the world in some regard, sort of, after the meteor incident sort of thing. That could explain why Shinra Tower was destroyed and stuff like that. That's a possibility? Maybe, but I'm leaning still towards, like, some kind of alternate timeline as the number one. Number two, it's something to do with the life stream. And number three is like, potential future. I still need more answers, basically. I would appreciate them, game. Earth sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. What? She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... She dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene. Are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? Oh. No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? Sephiroth. His hair was long. And gray. Yep. Of all the people. Sephiroth. Need a moment to talk about that. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. <sighs> hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. 
And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... Not Hojo. <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. I won't. Oh, 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 oh. Moment to talk. Right. A cure for Cloud. Because that'll be a question, like, if, if Cloud wakes up here, is it going to be the Cloud we know? Is he going to be when he's asleep? Because of that little bit we saw when he was in the hotel? Hmm. But at least we've got an answer now as to what did Marlene see in Remake. Because Marlene was shocked by something when Aerith went to her, save her from Seventh Heaven. And now we know what she saw. She basically saw the events of Final Fantasy VII. For those who are following along that don't know, somehow it's one of the most important, spoiled things in the history of gaming. Aerith dies in the original Final Fantasy VII, if you didn't know that. And the circumstances are pretty much as Marlene described. And it's important that she does die in a way, oddly enough, because she needs to basically get in the live stream to help direct the live stream to save the planet from Meteor, which is kind of actually, when you think about it and like look at it properly, kind of what Sephiroth wants. Because his plan in the original Final Fantasy VII was to make the live stream come together at a certain point and he was going to stand in the middle of that and essentially become God. Basically. Basically. So he kind of needs Aerith to be in the live stream to direct the live stream to one specific spot. So he still needs to kill her. She still needs to die from his standpoint. So if we stop that, his plan can't come to fruition. Hmm. But there is that aspect with Marlene now, where she's trying to get Zack to stop it, at least on this end. Because how does that relate to the world we're following along with the, the main bulk of the story at this point? It all depends what this world is, because it could be a visual representation of a battle happening in the live stream itself. There's just not enough to go on to throw away any of my current theories, I feel. Like, all those three possibilities I said, they're still all possible. The blooming is interesting. Does that mean we're winning the battle in the outside world? We'll call it outside, I don't know. The, the main bulk is, sorry, are we, are we, are we... Let's call it, like, Cloud's world and Zack's world. Just, just so we have some understanding of where we're coming from. Is, that, is, is the world blooming here because we're winning the battle in some way in Cloud's world? Or is this just something unique to Zack's world? Hmm. Make sure that you're back by dinner. Now we'll see about that. Yeah, what happens if... If... Cloud wakes up. Can we go inside and have a word? Does Marlene have anything else to say? Because maybe she does. Watch it be. Door is locked. Uh, oh, no. Hi, Marlene. Remember, you can't tell anyone. I mean, it's got to be something to do with the white materia as well. 
Maybe this is like a bubble world that the Whispers set up in some regard to protect the white materia? With Zack as its protector? Maybe that's an aspect as well? Hmm. Maybe, 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 there's the bike. Maybe Aerith, like, right, if, if it's going to follow roughly the same events of Final Fantasy VII in Cloud's world, that means Aerith will die. Will she wake up here? Because then I'll very much be in line with thinking that, yeah, this is the live stream in some way. Hmm. Ah, oh, I just need some answers. Just something. Anyway, let's get on the bike. And go speak to Hojo, apparently? Do I get to actually ride this, though? Hmm. Like, drive it around. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Gotta find Elmira. Well, we're not riding the bike, are we? 